All right, let's show this stuff up. So this is a really, really cool find that I picked up off the Facebook Marketplace. One that I was really surprised to see, but then again, it's Rochester, it's Kodak Town, so finding stuff like this is not impossible. All right, now I just got to figure out how to put it together. And it does have the original owner's manual. So what this is, is I picked up, I don't know if it's a frame or not, but it's a day lab uh, enlarger. This is a color head enlarger. And in fact, let me move you over here. Let's see if we can. I'm not really gonna zoom in and out. Anyway. This is the head of the enlarger. Uh, it does come with, so you can put your slide right in there. What's nice about this system is you can do it in daylight, meaning you can have the red lights on, you can have regular uh, white lights on uh, while you're doing this. Because normally when you do color, this is for color film. This is for doing color prints in your dark room. And anyway, um, in order to do that, you either have to do it completely in the dark, or you either have something like this. I also have some Jobo um, cylinder tanks that you could develop the paper in. Uh, but basically, you're creating from either the positive or the negative, and you're going to make a um, positive print uh, onto paper. So, And I actually do have ectochrome paper along with Etochrome Chemical Chemistry to develop that paper. So when I'm going to get around to it, I don't know. Anyway, let's see if I can figure out how to put this thing together. Assuming this is the bottom. So many parts. Yeah, the lady I bought this off of, her husband was in the room when I uh, picked it up. He told me he worked at Kodak for 25 years, so I said, uh, pretty Rochester thing around here. You know, explaining that, uh, you know, both my uncles and cousins and everybody else, my dad included, all worked at Kodak at one point, so. All right, let me read the instructions so I can see what the hell am I doing. It's in here anyway. There's more instructions. Is that all that's in here? Yeah, that's just, I think this is just information about developing. Yeah, this is just more information. Someone typed it up. That's nice. Uh, all right, let's see if I can figure out how to put this thing together. Aha. That is what I'm looking for. Okay. So... This is definitely the bottom. This is what they call the processor. Okay. Oh, I wonder if it processes the chemistry too. It must. That is cool. I don't know if it just sits in there like that. Yeah. Not entirely sure. Anyway, where like maybe this part goes here, right? And then I'm assuming this is where this part goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. And then this whole oh, parts here. Oh, that must be where you pour your chemistry. There we go. Maybe I'll go. Right, 
just a little more. There we go. Okay. That's not supposed to sit. This goes up here. Okay. Be gentle with the old plastic. But that's okay. I can fix that. Okay, so I think this actually goes next somehow. No. How's this go? This is the input. Oh, this is the tray. Okay. That goes there. How does this go on top of it? What am I oh, you know what? I'm looking at this wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, screwing this up here. Or is that already in there? This come out? No. Oh, that does. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this goes in. Okay, and then this does go in, okay, I think these two, oh, these might go on top, this must be a different tray insert that goes in there, Exactly. I should give you instructions how to insert this. Okay. So it looks like yeah, it should be able to pop out. I'll just set it like that for now. Okay, now we can put this big guy right on top. Not sure where these guys go in. Awesome. I'm not sure where this goes. I'm sure there's a, obviously there's instructions on how to use all this. I love this. This actually gives you the prices of film and how much it costs to buy everything. Is there a date on this? No, but everything is within 40 bucks. And today's uh, today it would be three times that price. So sadly, all those prices are off now in today's world. Um, like I said, I'll fix that. I love it that it also it came with another kind of like cover thing. I don't know what that's for. It got some O-ring replacements for something. It also came with a thermometer, which I thought was cool. Never used. Uh, yeah. 
so barcode on it, so it's not super old, but anyway, let me plug this thing in. I'll see if this thing turns on. Alrighty. Ooh, lights up. Let me uh, turn off the lights so you guys can see. Right, let me take you off the camera. Try take off the camera. Take off the tripod so I can show you handheld what's going on here. Lights everywhere. Alexa, turn off the room lights. Okay. So you can kind of see what's going on here. There you go. That's what the inside looks like. And then your exposure. Um, let's see if I can light this up. I don't know if I can get any brighter. Not really. Anyway, you change your exposure up here, which still works, which is awesome. But yeah, just turn that off. That's really cool. So it's nice that everything still works on it. So this is one another new enlarger for me. So this is so basically what it is is it be you would put the paper in here, close it, you would do your little exposure. Well you probably do the pre-exposure before you put the paper in like you would normally. Uh, what's also cool is the box itself also becomes a light type box, but I, I'm probably not never gonna use it. I have a light sealed bag, so I don't need to use that. Yeah, you can change your exposures here, your blue, red, and yellow. So, yeah, day lab, daylight enlarging system. This is the one I wanted. They they made two versions. They probably made more than that, but um, there was a version of this that would do Polaroids only, uh, and it would just stick it in the side here. And the problem is, I don't want that. I want one that takes uh, film. And I can also put paper in it. So, and this is the one I wanted. So I'm, I'm extremely pleased. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out. Even if I just ended up using it as a larger, I don't think I'm going to use it for developing paper on the inside like it's also designed to. It does also have test tubes and stuff inside the box still, but I'm not going to use that stuff. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll use my Jobo uh, drum um um, developing tanks and I probably will use that because I can use those in daylight basically so as soon as I'm done exposing I just have to turn the lights off pull this out take the paper roll it up put it into the tube and then do the chemistry so I can turn the lights on after I uh, close it up so but yeah I'm really pleased awesome uh, Facebook marketplace find very happy very very happy all right thanks for watching All right, let's shoot a little B-roll. And I just realized I forgot to use my clapper board today. This is going to be fun figuring out how to add all these videos later, but oh well. So you know this piece that came out? Uh, this one. I actually didn't break it. It just popped out. So I was like, woo! So yeah, this just popped right out. So actually I did not break it. Um, it's just that, you know, you have to understand this stuff is over 30 years old. It's old, older than me. You know, I'm 31, going to be 32 this year. And, uh, yeah, this stuff is just, wait a minute, probably should do this. Hard to think. I'm trying to think. Okay, putting this in. How is it going on this one? So 
go there, go there. So I'm assuming it's like this one's actually going in the right way then. Okay. It's just that this little piece pops out. There's nothing actually broken. God, where are my tweezers when I need them? You just gotta fit it in there. And I just gotta be careful when I go to touch it next time. So I don't lose that piece. But yeah, nothing's broken. It's awesome. So, but yeah, this is actually where you develop. You would, uh, looks like you would fill the bath here. Other, I think chemicals would probably go in here. Um, like I said, I have to read the instructions on this to figure all this out. But, yeah, I fixed it. All right. Thanks for watching.